Hi all, welcome to the new video of Compute Network. In this video, we are going to discuss X.21 modems. X.21, sometimes referred to as X.21, is an interface specification for differential communications introduced in the mid 1970s by the ITUT X.21, was first introduced as a means to provide a digital signaling interface for telecommunications between carriers and customers equipment it is a state driven protocol running full duplex at 9600 bps to 64 kbps with subscriber network it's a circuit switching protocol using synchronous ascii with old parity to connect and disconnect the subscriber to to the specific switching network This includes specifications for DT, DC, physical interface elements, alignment of call control characters and error checking, elements of the call control phase for uh, executing, switching the services and test loops. The data transfer phase is transparent to the network. Any data can be transferred through the network after call establishment is made successfully via the X.21 protocol. When X.21 is used with uh, version 1.1, it provides synchronous data transmission at rates from 600 bit per second to 10 megabit per second. There is also a variant of X.21 that is only used in, in select legacy application circuit switched X.21. X.21 normally is found on a 15 pin D sub connector and is cap capable of running full duplex data transmissions. So there are 15 pins in the, this um, model. The call control phases which are used were defined the CC ITT now ITU in 1988 blue book recommendations X.1 X.32. The signal element timing or clock is provided by the carrier and is responsible for correct clocking of the data. X.21 is primarily used, used in Europe and Japan. For example, in the Scandinavian Datex and uh, German Datex L circuit switches network during 1980s. Now, here is the pin configuration. We have uh, sub D15 male and sub D15 female. Uh, here is the pin and to connect the pin, we use female plot. This is the figure of X.21 modem. In this modem, we have 15 pins. 15 pins. 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7. See this figure. We can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the top and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 in the bottom. So here is the pin configuration 1 to 8, then 9 to 15. 1 to 8, then 9 to 15. Here is the pin signal uh, then DTDC specification. First pin shield shield. There is no DTDC specification then second pin second pin transmit A transmit A that is DT out DC in. Then third control A control signal A then uh, DT out DC in then for receive a signal dt in dc out indication signal number 5 fifth pin dt in dc out number 6 signal timing a signal dt in dt out then unsigned 7 no specifications then ground no specification then 9 transmit b dt out dc in DT this DT stands for you know that DT stands for data terminal equipment and data control terminating equipment DC. Now transmit B ninth pin out DT out in DC. Then tenth signal control B out DT in DC. Or receive number eleven receive B in DT out DC. Now number twelve indication B signal in dt out dc number 13 signal timing b in dt out dc then number 14 
unassigned number 15 unassigned so this is the pin configuration in x.21 modem uh, it is the interface specification for differential communication interested in the mid 1980s so this is about the uh, x.21 modem you need to buy heart all these pin configuration and uh, its uh, DTDC uh, descriptions so thank you in the next video we will come with second module thank you all